but she dropped this while she was writing a text message, and I think you should read it. Recipient, Naomi. Subject, no hard feelings. So how the hell are you, babe? Sorry about earlier, sad face. I apologized, though, so you have to forgive me now. If you don't, I'll email you a beautiful crutch shot, so watch out. Let's get the hell out of this dump together, hand in hand. Until we meet again, you'd better get on with... Uh, get it on with your darling Mochi, or else. Anyway, I'll be waiting for you by the entranceway. We can kiss and make up. X, 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 O, O, O. Oh, la, la. Psycho. Psycho. Psycho! <laughs> Psycho. I was planning to wait until a little more time had passed before showing this to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Naomi? You feeling a little better now? I think so. Sorry about that. We're gonna get out of this school. No matter what it takes. That's what Psycho would have wanted. Yeah. Big brother, I found something. Hmm? Here. Another tape, huh? The camera broke on the last one, though, so I don't think we can watch it. Oh. But we should still take it with us. Nice find, Yuko. <laughs> Got the tape from you, girl. At any rate, we know how to get out of here now. We know how to reverse Sachiko's charm. Our first priority at this point should be to reconvene with Shinazaki, Yoshiki, and hopefully Miss Yui. Yeah, you still have your paper doll scrap, right, Satoshi? Yep, got it right uh, here. I have mine, too. Good job hanging on to it. Don't lose it now, okay? How about you? Oh, yeah, I've got mine. Right? No. No, God, no! Where did I put it? My student ID is missing. And my paper scrap is in it. Calm down, Naomi. We'll find it. We just have to keep our eyes open. Uh, okay, but I swear, I, I definitely, definitely had it in my skirt pocket. I remember it clearly. I showed it to Psycho and everything, but it's gone. It's just gone. What the hell is wrong with me? If we can't find it, then I can't go home. There's no need to worry. You had it earlier, right? It must be somewhere in here. I'm sure we'll find it along the way. But what if we don't? Then I'll, I'll be left behind. Just me. All by myself here. You definitely don't need to worry about that. I would never leave this place without you. <laughs> I'll be with you until the bitter end. We're going to find it. I... I will too. Eh? I'll stay with Big Brother. And with you. Even if I have to stay here for... Um... S sorry, sorry. God, I'm hopeless. Why does my mind always go to the worst case scenario? You don't need to worry about me. If it comes down to it, you should leave here. With Satoshi. No! Mm, okay, then. I'm going to go find my student ID. It's my problem, after all. Naomi, stop. We're going to find it together. 
my thoughts exactly. Well, we don't need to find it now because these guys have it, if I recall correctly. Uh, this isn't the same place though. Wait, have I checked that body yet? Skulls will remain. Yes, I have, apparently. Alright, so I just have to get these guys to wherever the hell the other people were. I don't know where the hell they stopped, though. Hmm. Interesting. Skeletal remains. Got him. This place has fallen apart. Closet. Closet trespassers will be expelled. Okay. Gotcha. No worries. No closet trespassing for me. Now where the hell did they break out from? They came out in the toilets, didn't they? Which way are the toilets? I forget. I think they're this way. Don't ask me. I've got a terrible memory. <sighs> Maybe the toilets aren't this way. Yeah, they're not this way. Were the toilets this way? No, that's the entrance way, I believe. I guess maybe I was on the right track this way, then. I don't even know if this is what I have to be doing. Maybe this is just a waste of time. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. But, bones. Skeletal remains? Apparently I've already checked them. Or they just didn't have a name tag. One or the other. Oh wait, this is looking promising. Is it? No! What the hell? Where the hell am I? I am, uh... Oh, what the hell? Boards there uh, that need to be placed. I haven't seen a single one yet, though. What's in here? Where the hell am I? I forget now. Entry into the Empire of Japan's secret intelligence base is strictly forbidden. Expulsion to all trespassers. Okay. Sure. I... I'm... I'm fucking lost. I don't know where the hell I am. Am I even in the same school? <laughs> yeah, obviously. It's 1F West Hall. Right. So there's no point going down there. Here we go. Get the damn dance music again. Alright. Let's go just just down here. Why not? Yep. Already read that. Oh, what the hell is this? Yes! Is it what? It's this? I'd recognize that signature anyway. Anyway? Anywhere. This is Naho's. Findings, it says. I don't mean to pry, but I'm really curious. Ayumi flips open the uh, the notebook, only to find it's more like a miniaturized three-ring binder. A few papers are still inside, covered with hastily scribbled words, but there's space for many more. Naho's notes, one out of five. Examination of sacred spaces, file one. Ghost therapy. Heart surgery ward. Investigation pending. Examination of Sacred Spaces, File 2, K Prefecture, Heavenly Host Elementary School, Investigation in Progress. Method of Ingress, Obtained, Requires Two or More Participants. Method of Egress, Obtained, Will Need to Gather More Information and Plan Very Carefully, But It Can Be Done. Encountered Fierce Spiritual Resistance While Simply Searching the Shinazaki Estate. Right side of body paralyzed, left eardrum ringing, orbs visible in photographs, influence confirmed. Severe dizziness, nausea and bloody uh, BM experienced, symptoms persist for weeks. Significant danger is clearly present, next investigation will place others at risk. May be best to leave Mr. Kibiki behind. Seems he returned empty-handed again today. How many times has that happened with this publisher? He writes such interesting pieces, but never receives due credit. They're too daft, 
They don't appreciate him. Poor guy can't catch a break. But all that will change once his next serial is published. I'll do everything in my power to help him get the recognition he deserves. Naho would frequently post these examinations of sacred spaces on her blog. This must be some of the data she collected for that. Never thought I'd be reading her next update like this, though. I wish I could have met her under normal circumstances and made friends with her or something. And had her pass me this book so I could read over the next update with her blessing, instead of just finding it. Naho has always been my hero, the person I've admired most. Okay. Well, that was definitely interesting, but not helpful in the slightest, though. Unfortunately. Alright, what else can we do, then? I guess nothing, really. What's over here? There's a note. Oh, and a fucking save point. <laughs> Hell yeah. Taking this one right to the bank. Alright. Strange but true. Stories of the occult. Chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building. Part 3 by Ku Kabiki. Things have taken a truly frightful turn, dear readers. I stand now at the brink of a new age for the occult world. Nothing will ever be the same again. I wonder if it will even be possible to convey in words the significance of where I'm standing at this very moment. Prepare yourselves for a report like unlike any other, for I am presently within the accursed school building, inside Heavenly Host Elementary. And it's all thanks to my highly skilled protege, Naho Senaki. Many of you may know the name. She has the ability to, co to commune with spirits, and it's through these connections that a way has been devised. A means of assessing... Assessing? Accessing this sacred ground. Together with my faithful cameraman, Taguchi, I have made use of this method to see these cr... Fuck me pardon my language, but cursed holes with my own eyes. I have set foot into a school building that should no longer exist, a forbidden land of the dead. In addition to this article, Taguchi and I will also be capturing ample video footage. We have no clear plan of attack, so we'll simply explore and record. What will become of us in these dilapidated halls? What secrets will we uncover? Will we be able to learn the truth of what happened here? It may seem odd in such macabre surroundings, but it can't, I can't help feeling excited about what awaits us. Surely, dear readers, you can relate. I sincerely hope you'll be anticipating my next installment with bated breath. For now, however, I must put down my pen. There is work to be done. I must gather evidence of this remarkable excursion. For soon I will be, re I shall be regarded as a living witness to the dead. Naho's mentor, the occult writer, Kukabiki, investigative, investigated, fuck, investigative reporter. In as much as you can call someone that as a spook mag, anyway. Guess he's in here somewhere too. Don't want to speak ill of him, but he always seemed to think of Naho as his cash cow. He obviously came here solely to get his hands on a big scoop. That man would wake the dead if he could write about it afterward. I didn't realize that girl with the dead fish eyes had a mentor. Kabiki's choice of words in this article suggests he came here of his own volition. Naho made it sound the same way for her, too. Then there's that first blue ghost we spoke with. He said we were all trapped here by the curse of the children. But the little girl, Yuki, she said she wasn't responsible. So that leaves only one possible explanation. 
We're here because we flubbed the Sachiko Ever After charm. The sole reason we're all being put through this hell is because we angered Sachiko. If only I'd paid more attention to Naho's blog entry. If only we'd performed the charm successfully. Shinazaki. I... I just... I just thought that we could be friends forever. How was I supposed to know something this horrible would happen if we failed? What the hell kind of charm has a risk like that anyway? In all my time dealing with this stuff, I've never... Don't beat yourself up, Shinazaki. This came out of left field. None of us could have possibly known. <laughs> God, you're supposed to be my friends. I'm... I'm so sorry, everyone. Suzumoto, Shinohara, it's all my fault. It's because of me. <laughs> Shinazaki. Alright. That was quite a bit of reading. Wait. There's a large door covered in protective charms from virtually every organized religion and pagan belief system. It's been nailed shut. Well now. I think that for now I'm just going to call this the end of the episode, so... I hope you guys uh, are enjoying this, and I'll be sure to get more episodes out as soon as possible, so... Uh, I'll see you later then. Bye!